near me. It's kind of windy, but we are, my family and I are spending a staycation. We're about 45 minutes away from home. And when we left home this afternoon, it was 92 degrees Fahrenheit. And now it's, it feels like it's, we're in the 60s. It's very cold. I can't believe I'm wearing a sweater and it's still summer. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys we're staying here at the marina. baby wanted me to carry her. Want me to carry you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's I cold. I can't believe how cold Water. it is. I don't really have a topic. Oh, my battery's about to die. Okay, I better make this fast. So, you have one life. You have one life. And if you've been going through something hard like recovering from chronic illness or relationship issues or financial issues, this is me telling you, which you already know, so I'm gonna say it again. One life so just get out there get up and live it you get to a point <laughs> when you're on a long stretch journey hey who are you talking to uh, my friends and my battery's about to die okay you get to a point where you're on a long journey and there's nothing else to do but get up and go live your life if you've never been on a plane get on a plane if you haven't been on a road trip in a while, get going, get started. Do everything you possibly can to just start living your life and getting your life back because resting is fine. Be um, hermiting, cocooning is fine. I did it. But you, you don't really move forward. You move forward by literally moving forward. I hate to say it, I know. I was there, I was looking for a shortcut. I was looking for an easier way out. But I found when you're going through a dark night of the soul journey, there's no easy way out. There's no magic pill. There's no reset button, there's nothing. And I've, I've talked to many people that have gone through this and they have made it to the other side. There is no secret. Um, there's growing, there's learning, there's revelations, but you have to, it comes down to choice. And a lot of this journey is realizing that you actually had choice to begin with and you had autonomy to begin with. You just forgot. So this journey is to remind you that you have one life and you choose what to do with it regardless of what obstacles you may be facing this is the life that you're living so you have to decide am i gonna get up get in a car and go 45 minutes and go on a trip when i haven't done so in a long time because i feel so awful i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna keep doing it over and over and over again because this pain this discomfort that i'm feeling right now is totally worth it it's worth it because it's bringing me to another life a different life a better life and that's just the way forward i mean what else are you gonna do sweetheart you know what i mean we have no other choice but to get up to live our lives regardless of how we feel regardless of what happened to us before Goodbye. life's not waiting for that life is waiting patiently i would say Life is patiently waiting for all of us to be willing to move forward, live now, not in the past, not trying to figure things out. Not, that's where I was getting stuck. I was trying to unearth everything and um, look for these deep revelations and things which I got from my past, and which is wonderful. That's great cleanup, but a big bulk of the work, the work is what am I going to do now? What am I choosing to do now? What action can I take that will move me forward to where I want to be now? So you have one life. There is no secret to a better life. You have to choose a better life and you have to start taking action 
to create that better life that you know deep down inside you deserve and that you want and love. My camera died guys, my camera died. I don't even know what I was talking about because we have walked away from the marina and now we're walking up this pretty big hill um, and what am, what am I saying? Uh, what was I saying? I didn't know. See, take this as a metaphor. I hope you can hear me because I don't know, I don't have a mic on this. Take this as a metaphor. You climb one step at a time, you know, up this giant hill, giant mountain, whatever hardship you're going through. And then eventually you get to the top. Feel your legs, they're numb and heavy. Pick them up, just use them. Your brain will remember how to use them. If you're so dizzy, if you like passing out all the time, keep moving your body. <laughs> That's all I can say. Your brain remembers. Your brain will remember. It's just a little scared, you know? Just play, find, find new things to do for your brain to do. Oh my gosh, you guys need to see this gorgeous. Like, sailboats there. But you know, life is too precious. This is the one time, one time we got it. So I am going to sign off. I'm going to enjoy this weekend with my family. I hope you enjoy your weekend as well with yours. And I wish you all the love, all the healing, all the adventure, all the play. Oh my gosh, there's more. These turkeys. Hey turkeys. It's turkeys. So I'm starting to slowly and gradually put together a little self-care kit for you guys, for my YouTube family. It's just like these products that have come along my way. Um, during this recovery journey that have just kind of given me a lot of joy and I just made me feel really good and I know self-care it's such a buzzword thing but at the very basis of it it's just taking care of yourself and I realized that was something that was blaringly obvious when I came down with chronic illness that I had not been doing anything for myself very rare I was always taking care of other things other people and neglecting myself and so when this uh, recovery journey began, um, I started to slowly realize like, oh, okay, I, I need to do things for myself. I need to buy things, not for, to like make me feel better, but um, to show my brain and show myself that I am important and I want to take care of you and I want to do nice things for you and make you feel good. And, um, and not in like a superficial way or anything, but just like inherently like knowing that what I'm doing and what I'm, how you say, what I'm deciding to, how I'm deciding to treat myself shows how much I care about myself. And so if you know me, I was like not, I'm not a girly girl, I guess to say, like <clears throat> I don't get manny, I, I don't get manies, I don't get petties. Um, very rarely invested in massages, but I, like, I wasn't really into it, but I think that's how like tunnel vision I was in terms of just doing things for myself and taking care of myself. So <clears throat> I think within, I think a year into this chronic illness journey that I didn't know it was, um, I did not know it was mind body at the time yet. I had not discovered that. Um, I decided to invest in one product for myself it's a skincare thing so I've always had issues with my skin 
my whole life major major acne as a teen I still have the scars to show for it I have very very sensitive skin and so skin care has always kind of been one of those like Achilles heels for me because it was just like everything that I've tried never worked I just kind of learned to live with it and just live my life but when chronic illness happened and I was like I was starting to see just the the real effects it was having on my face like I just looked so haggard and I was starting I was starting to see the you know the the aging I think this yeah this is back when I was like 29 I was starting to see the aging not that that matters but I was just starting to notice and I then the changes in my skin and I I mean a huge bulk of it right was I know it was stress <laughs> that was a huge bulk of it but also I wasn't really doing a good job taking care of myself period so one of the products I decided to invest my invest in was this product here called Le Plonier. It's a plum beauty oil superfood antioxidant booster. And this product was like the most luxurious thing that I've ever <laughs> invested in. But I was like, you know what? I'm approaching 30. I really need to start stop using teenager products from the drugstore and I, I need to start upping my um, quality of products that I'm using because I have like this is my only skin you know what I mean like I need to start taking care of myself that was kind of the revelation and so I invested in this and immediately every the compliments were like wow your skin is glowing you're looking younger and even though I was at the time was feeling so 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 sick I just was looking better <laughs> like my skin was looking better and it was because of this product and so um I'm gonna wash my face and use it so I'm a busy mom so I don't have time to be doing uh, like an, a super extensive you know 30 15 minute 30 minute <clears throat> skincare routine day and night I just I don't have that right now in the season of my life with three young kids who I think you can hear them outside of this hotel this bathroom but <clears throat> So this is my secret weapon for my skin. Whenever people are asking like, oh wow, your skin looks really, like you look so young and dewy and glowy. Honestly, it's this. This, a basic moisturizer, a basic face wash and sunscreen. Like, <laughs> that's it. Cause I just, you know, mom's right. I don't have the time and I'm exhausted at the end of the day. So beginning of the day all the time. <laughs> so, so I just take this cute little thing I usually use five drops and I reason that because I have a family of five <laughs> um, and I just rub it gently over my face, over my lips, like honestly everywhere this oil is so gentle and I just massage it and it feels so luxurious and if you go to the website you can see all of, you'll, you can read about all the benefits of uh, the plum there's so many antioxidants it's like it's so good for you and it's like pure plum oil like there's no other additives in there which is very important for me or to me <clears throat> and it's so gentle I honestly put it everywhere I put it in my neck I put it like I've used on underarms you know like when you need soothing after you're waxing <laughs> right um, I use it on my kids all the time as a carrier oil to accompany with essential oils that I put on them or if they have like a skin irritation I use this oil and they, they love it and it smells like marzipan and it just it smells so natural like straight from the orchard which is wonderful because just it's so funny the company is run by three sisters um on a hundred plus year old farm in northern california so the synchronicity and that was a kind of amazing because i am one of three sisters um and i live in northern california so that was like a crazy coincidence um but i've been using this since 2020 every single day and even yesterday like it's so useful my we went on a hike out here as we're out and about and my niece was like getting bushwhacked by all of the weeds and she was wearing a skirt so her legs were getting irritated so when we got back to the hotel room I just doused it with this <clears throat> this plum oil and with some lavender essential oils and it like you could see immediately it just soothed like her legs and that's how gentle it is I use it on Eloise like my little two-year-old baby so 
Um, this is my gift that I wanted to offer you guys as I'm starting this self-care kit. I'll probably find a different name for it because I don't I don't really like the term self-care. Um, yeah, I put it on my hands, <laughs> you know, I put it everywhere. I just put it everywhere. And um and uh yeah, so I have a I have a code down below you can use. Feel free, give it a try. Like treat yourself to something luxurious. When you put it on your skin, I purchased this for other people and gifted it to my friends and family, and the people that have used it, they're always like, "Oh my gosh, like it just feels so it makes me feel so good." And you know it's such a good product and one of integrity and it's a it's clean and it's pure it's organic and it makes you feel good and you know that like the like i know if i keep using this product <laughs> that in 10 years as my friend's skin's been aging i know that I, i've been taking really good care of my skin just with this one product alone and <clears throat> And I can just imagine them being like, what did you do to your skin? And I'm like, actually, I've been using this for 10, 20, 15 plus years, you know, like put in the investment now <laughs> while you're in your 30s, I guess is my message. So yeah, the code is down below. I want you guys to all try it. It just makes you feel really, really good. And yeah, it just feels good for your emotional well-being, physical well-being, just well-being in general. So I love it so much and I'm always advocating for it. All my oily girls. I am oily, oil slick, and Le Punier does not make me any oilier. If anything, it it just gives you the glow without the extra oil. So take it from one oily girl to another oily girl. <laughs> I kind of feel like I just went to the spa a little bit. <laughs> and uh, this is coming from someone who does not go to the spa. I do not go to the spa. Like this, this is perfect for me. On the go, very simple, very minimal person. And this is my one secret, <laughs> my one secret splurge in, in taking care of myself. So I want to share that with all of you as well. And I just hope you guys are, uh, and if you do try it, let me know. I wanted to say one more thing that I forgot. Well, good morning from my... We're still here at the pier, <laughs> the marina. It's quiet, I'm just waiting, just kind of relaxing outside here. Um, and I wanted to say yesterday we were walking down uh, one of the piers and I just decided to skip and just skip along like I did when I was, you know, five, six, seven year old girl. And it dawned on me that, dang, I haven't skipped like that in a very, very, very long time. And it felt so good. And the amazing part was it felt like my body, it felt like my body was like, it was like riding a bike again, you know? And it was like, oh, I remember this feeling. This feels like play and freedom and frolicking. And it just injected uh, uh, so much joy and so much life force and so much um, just goodness into uh, my being and into my physiology. And so I just, another reminder to add to, you have one life and this life was meant to play. So any instance that you can make a situation, especially if it's a really uncomfortable one, if you can make, if you, if you can figure out one tiny way that you can make it feel more like play, it really does wonders for your brain, for your body, for your spirit. So, okay, now I'm, I'm signing off for real and I'm enjoying my weekend with my family. So I hope you do too. I hope you did too, whenever I post this video. And yeah, make it count, make your life count. This isn't forever. The hardship you're going through right now isn't forever. Absolutely, it sucks. I would know. But in our autonomy and in our agency, we can choose how we want it to be how we want it to go and that is far better than not doing anything and not moving forward you know 
And I say that with so much love. I totally understand. I have so much compassion for you. I get it. So, okay, signing off for real. Bye.